Uh, Darren, I'm going to start with the academy team obviously making history with their win in the Youth Cup on Wednesday night. You were down at the ground. It was a really big achievement for the club. Fantastic. And I thought they played really well on the night. Um, scored a couple of really good goals. Obviously, Oakham gets the plaudits for getting another couple of goals. But I thought every single one of them could have walked off that pitch and should have walked off that pitch really proud of themselves because they acquitted themselves very well against the Cambridge side that I, that I thought had some decent players as well. So really pleased for them, really proud of them. Um, I was fortunate enough to be in the change room after the game and they was obviously thrilled with their achievements and rightly so. And now they get an opportunity to go to a Premier League team and uh, hopefully continue the run. And that's something obviously the club should really champion. How many players have come through the academy in, a, in your first team now? Obviously, they've been successful in the FA Youth Cup and Ockham Chime obviously made an appearance against Fleet, but it's something <coughs> they should really champion as a club. Listen, it's the, the club has got a history of bringing players through. Uh, we've got a good group of academy staff, which is beneficial with the, with the players because they're good people um, and good coaches. And... What I'm prepared to do as well is, is f from my position, is give these kids an opportunity. If they show the required sort of ability and attitude, and I'm prepared to give them a chance because I'm not interested in people's ages. It's about the quality they can provide and if they're good enough. And certainly with the one or two that come through last year in uh, Vassalou and Boxy, um, very quickly we have people like Oakham and young Ronnie Edwards coming up behind them so it's just a constant churning out of good young kids with bright futures so it's really good for the club. And on to matters for <coughs> Saturday's game against Stockport, a real opportunity to beat a side who are on the same amount of points as us and push on up at the table. Yeah and that's how we approach every game you know whether they're top middle or bottom you know we, I say it every week but I know it's going to be a tough game they're a, they're a, they're a side that are in a similar position to us probably looking for that consistency like like I would say most in the league are looking for but certainly need to take advantage of of having a, a home game and not having had to travel we've had no midweek game as well so what it's allowed us to do is focus a lot of efforts on all aspects of our play uh, this week and what I'm hopeful is that we that we we bring a lot of what we've tried to do this week in training uh, we, we bring it to the table on Saturday and if we do we give ourselves a chance of winning the game Obviously a lot of competition for places <coughs> in the squad Efron Mason Clark obviously came off the bench against Fleetwood and put in a good performance with a lot of energy that must be really good for you as a coach that there's so many options you can take into tomorrow's game Yeah it's good I mean Efron's an interesting one because I thought he was incredible last season uh, when he played he hasn't quite reached them levels consistently this season but there's no one sort of more in his corner than myself. I just had to feel like I've had to manage him for a period where he's just sort of learning a little bit about himself. He was he was uh, untried and a, a little bit of a surprise package to everyone last year, but certainly this year he's more of a marked man. And he's just had to learn how to deal with them. Um, and I'm seeing glimpses and I'm seeing that smile on his face again. I'm seeing seeing a little bit of what Efron gave us last season and he's he's certainly back getting back to where I I think he's capable of of being I think he's a wonderful player with a with a really bright future and he's got a big role to play for us obviously there'll be a good following of away fans <coughs> as well as a, obviously the B army getting behind the team so it should be a really good atmosphere at the Hive this weekend well I hope so it's important you know it's 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 key that we get the atmosphere right here because it does help the players um I also understand that it's a two-way street and we've got to provide some play and some uh, excitement ourselves to get them on board. But, you know, I've stated many times that the, the role that they can play can be crucial. We've got a group of players that are searching for consistency and fans can play a part in that. There's no doubt, you know, get behind the boys. They might make the odd mistake here and there, as, as we know, and mistakes can be crucial in vital moments in the game. But get behind the boys, give them the best support you possibly can. And I believe that they will, as a group and with us guiding them as well, we'll, we'll find that consistency that will allow us to, to put a run together and, and climb up the table. And just hope that it starts tomorrow, obviously.